I don't have I don't have any contract with a public defender's office. Okay, then you need to be here. Now well, I have COVID. Okay, you've got COVID. I want you here three o'clock today. Wear a mask. Court calls case People versus Tariq Day. The Michigan Oxford Senior Assistant Prosecuting Attorney for People. Hello, Tariq Samara Tariq Day here. A ready judge, Corsho Fleeser, assistant public defender on behalf of Mr. Day. He's there. Can you turn on your camera, sir? I don't have I don't have any contract with a public defense uh public defender's office. You what? I don't have any contract with the public defender's office representing me. You don't have a contract with them? Correct. Yes, Judge. Huh. I reached out to Mr. Day to try to uh, help pre-try this, this case. My is this going to be a Bellinger thing? I think so, Judge. Okay, go yeah. for it. <laughs> My understanding is uh, that he had enough counsel that he was going to have, I believe, on his file. Uh, and I wish him good luck if that's the case. But I don't see another attorney here. So I don't know what's, what's going on, Your Honor. No. Mr. I Day? I don't. I'm defending myself. I told him I, that uh, I would notify the court that I relieved him of any implied obligations to this case. So you're represent you're going to represent yourself. I'm defending myself. Correct. Okay, then you need to be here now. Well, as I told uh, the court, I uh, uh, requested a Zoom hearing because I have COVID. So there is no you way I can. In a vehicle with a hat on, no mask. Oh, I inside my vehicle right now. What'd you say? I said yes, because I'm inside my vehicle right now. I work outside. I'm away from the general public. Did so you go to no the hospital mask. starting the COVID diagnosis? Excuse me? Did Have you been to the doctor regarding the COVID diagnosis? It's against my religion. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. Then I'm going to say, okay, you've got COVID. I want you here. When's our last block? Three o'clock today. Wear a mask if you're going to represent yourself. Uh, I can't make that. Is there a later date? Oh, three, three? yeah, you can. Three o'clock. 3.30, I can make that. I'll be here at three o'clock. Well, I'll be there at three thirty, and if there's any issue, then okay. We can... And at three o'clock, I may issue a bench warrant. Be here at three o'clock. I'll pass this matter. Thank you. There's no bench warrant to be issued because this court didn't okay. have. Okay, I'll determine that at three o'clock. The court See didn't you at have three o'clock. Thank you. This court does not have jurisdiction. You're welcome, Mr. Feaster. Cut his line. Folks, why don't we do this? Give me about three minutes. <laughs> I'm going to take a recess, then I'm going to come back because everything's going downhill, and it's those two guys' fault talking to each other. <laughs> Order's in recess. All right. Five hours later. Let's call the case. People say the Michigan versus Tariq Day. The Michigan Atra, senior assistant prosecuting attorney for the people. What's your name? Uh, Tariq Samar Tariq Ade, the executor of the Tariq Samar Tariq Ade Living Trust. Excuse me, sir. Mm -hmm. um, you're really supposed to be wearing a mask. Glad to be my Tariq Ade, my Wilson estate. Sir, you indicated that you wish to represent yourself on this matter? Yes. All right. You understand at your arraignment, you were given the charges that were filed, have been filed against you? I was given a charge. So if there were any additional, I was not uh, given those charges. The only charge I got was a, a fleeting and a looting. Fle fleeting and a looting, third degree. Third degree, correct. 
And if anything else was uh, tallied onto that, then I was not told. Okay. I have one charge. Okay. That is a felony punishable by up to five years incarceration and $1,000 fine plus court costs. The Secretary of State would be required upon your conviction to suspend your license for a period of one year. You understand that, sir? I do, but I have some questions. Uh, well, uh, as soon as I get through this, you have indicated that you wish to represent yourself. I have to advise you that there are some dangers in you representing yourself. You understand that, sir? I do comprehend. And you understand that if you proceed to represent yourself, that the court is not going to assist you to understand the procedures or anything regarding the court proceeding, that you will be responsible for that. And I will be holding you to the same standard that I would be holding the attorneys in the room in terms of even ruling, ruling on evidence or anything along those lines in regard to the procedure and the process. You understand that, sir? Correct. I comprehend. All right. You also, so I will ask you again, do you still continue to wish to represent yourself in this matter? Yes, I will be defending myself. You understand also, sir, that should you change your mind and could not afford to hire an attorney and wish to be represented by an attorney, the court would consider making sure that you are afforded counsel. You understand that? Okay. How do you wish to proceed on this matter, sir? Uh, first, I want uh, uh, like an oral motion for dismissal based on the fact of uh, the lack of probable cause and also the, the lack of a personal and uh, subject matter jurisdiction based on the fact that this is uh, a trust matter um, from the name to the, uh, the private co uh, conveyance that was um, stolen by the third party, Wall Street Towing, um, and impounded on the, uh, the, colorful, act, uh, the colorful law actions of uh Officer Trowbridge of the Washington County Sheriff's Department. Um, also, I have not been able to, uh, um, as of Constitution Amendment 6, uh, being able to face my accuser um, with the state of Michigan being a fictitious entity and there's no uh, injured party, there's no crime that has been committed. Um, and again, to the probable cause of the initial stop in the arrest, um, cannot be proven. There was no probable cause for the arrest or a stop. There was no warrant uh, on hand for the, for the arresting officer to conduct an arrest. And um, even more so, again, uh, as I stated, this is a uh, trust property, so this court didn't have jurisdiction to adjudicate over uh, the foreign trust. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, actually, I was also uh, moving to place you and the clerk as fiduciaries over the trust um, and I'll be able to supply you all with the adequate assurance uh, certificate of security to settle and offset the charges. Okay. Well, you will be doing nothing to me and nothing to my clerk. So whatever that motion was, that's denied. As to your other motion regarding all of that, um, quite frankly, it doesn't make any sense. We haven't even had the probable cause hearing. There will be a determination at the next stage as to whether or not there's probable cause regarding the charges. I was told this was a probable cause hearing. This is a probable cause hearing. So I don't understand what you're saying. I know you don't understand. You you're not having a probable cause. Pardon? You said that no probable cause was had, but then you said that this is a probable cause hearing. You have not had your preliminary examination at which there will be a determination as to whether or not there's probable cause to believe that the crime has been committed and you committed it. That is the next stage. That has not happened. So to the extent that your motion is even valid, which I do not believe that it is, and certainly you may raise it at a later date, but to the extent that it's valid, at least at this point, your motion is premature, and therefore your motion is denied. Anything else? Uh, well, lastly, I want to also put on the record, um, I wasn't able to uh, provide um, all my exhibits based on, as I told you, I was- You weren't able to do what? Provide my exhibits. To whom? To the, to the court for, to help um, for my defense, the evidences. 
You haven't had a hearing yet. I, I comprehend it. I'm just saying that I usually have my documents precede me before any hearings take place. And I wasn't able to because I was under the weather. That was my point. So they will be here, uh, if not by the end of the day in the drop-off box, and you'll have them all tomorrow. But um, you all will be served with the proper documents and the taxes uh, as well will be filed uh, on the case. Okay. Anything else? No, not this time. All right. So how would you like to proceed next on this? Uh, entering a plea of demure. Um, okay. You've already done that. I've already entered a plea of demure. I'm not sure when that took place other than right now. That took place on the arraignment on the complaint, sir. I never pleaded uh, demure. Uh, there you was you a... stood mute. You stood demure. You don't even know what that means. You're just using words and have no concept oh. as to what they mean. Demure and mute are two separate things, but that's neither here. Nor no, there. they're not. You have no legal degree. They are not. They are not. Don't need to they are not. The, I'm not here they to are virtually the same thing. So where do you wish to proceed now? As I stated, uh, my motion. Do you wish this set for preliminary examination? Your motions have been denied. I wish for the prosecution to provide the evidence that any of this needs. You to don't proceed. have discovery on this case. Is that what you're asking? I'm not asking for discovery whatsoever. So what are you asking for? I stated that the prosecution needs to prove that a crime was committed and under, um, they also need to show and prove that there is an injured party for the crime to have even been committed. Is there been a case you will have that hearing? Do you wish to have discovery? Discovery should be provided regardless. There's no wish about you it. Wish to have discovery, discovery should be provided. Don't play word games with me. I'm not playing, Mr. With Allen. Discovery. Not play word games with me. You're playing with the wrong judge. You can smile and smirk all you want. I'm not trying. I'm to giving you your warning. I will ask you again. Do you wish to have discovery provided to you? Yes. Do we have copies of discovery available that can be provided to this defendant? No, Your Honor, I, I know that the PD was representing uh, this individual. I don't have copies right now. I, I got you. Okay. So, man, so are there copies of the police report? as well as other discovery that's in the hands of the public defender's office. I do see traffic stops and discovery videos onto our program. All right. All right. Those need to be gotten to the defendant. How soon can those be gotten to the defendant? I can get those in hopefully by tomorrow around. You have an address for him to send those to him? Yes, I do. I can confirm it with him too. All right. What is the, What do you have as the address? Do you have a um, an address on is it share? I do, yeah. One okay. Four, one four. Okay, gotcha. All right, you'll make sure that that is sent to him. You also have an email address so that all things can be emailed to him also. I do. All right. Very good. Sir, did you wish to then have another PCC or did you wish to proceed immediately to preliminary examination? Uh, I would like to first have a jurisdiction hearing. What kind of jurisdiction here? Personal and subject matter. Okay. Go ahead and raise it because I can deal with it right now. 
What's the personal jurisdiction? Uh, this court, as long uh, as well as the state, lacks personal jurisdiction. I'm simply here under threatened arrest and coercion of you, saying that you would hope uh, put out a bench warrant for my arrest. Uh, the subject matter, uh, in regards to the name as well as the vessel uh, that was used, is uh, again under um, it was conveyed in, in is. Uh, held and protected within the trust. Um, and according to Article 1, Section 10, and Clause 2 of the United States Constitution, um, there could be no legislative laws that uh, um, could intercede or to interrupt uh, the functioning of a contract, uh, which the trust is and is uh, properly, um, uh, and the trust is uh, properly functioning at this time. So um, with that. All right. So here's what we'll do, because you're rambling again. So what we will do is you will put all of your jurisdictional arguments in writing because you're wrong. So we might as well get it in writing that you're wrong because I have subject matter jurisdiction over you and I have personal jurisdiction over you under the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the state of Michigan. So if you want to put your objections to jurisdiction in writing, you may do so, and then I will address those in due course. Awesome. So do that would be the next step, and I can get those in today. You no, know, that is not the next step. Either you're going to have another PCC. If you want me to set it for a hearing, I'll set it for a hearing. Yeah, for the jurisdiction. But I have nothing to set a hearing on. You have not filed anything regarding jurisdiction. Okay, so for right now, as of this moment, PCC is fine, and then I will file the proper documents for the jurisdictional hearing. Gotcha. So probable, I'll adjourn the probable cause conference in this case, April 25th, 2024, at 3 p.m. Is it possible to get another it's week for person for uh, to provide to? to accumulate my uh, documents for my defense. Is there what? Is it possible to have that extended out another week so that I can provide my... I'm going to set it 25th. I mean, I've heard, I was on the call. I've heard you give multiple counsels extended times. So where, what is the bias? I have no bias against you, sir. Well, I'm simply asking for uh, I'm a reasonable... setting the date. So... Of two weeks out, you can have your motion together, file your motion. I will be able to address your motion at that time so that we can get this headed to a PC, to a preliminary examination. Uh, just for the record, I'll put it on the record that I object. But under threat, direction, or coercion, again. Your objection is noted. Right. And under threat, direction, or coercion, uh, I'll be here. Is there anything else? I said what I need to say. Anything else from the people? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Bond will continue. Am I waiting for paperwork or get it from the front? Pardon? Am I waiting for paperwork uh, regarding the next? No, you may leave. Oh, it's being, is it being mailed or I'm trying to figure out how do I get the paperwork? You can check out at the front counter. Okay, thank you. That's right. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, Mrs. Tizzo. Uh, Put a lot of work into these videos to bring you the full story on every case. We are still a small channel trying to grow, and we can only do that with your help. So please consider subscribing. It really does help. Well, I was outrageous with a capital O.